Welcome back uh, to It's in the Blood for this Saturday afternoon showdown where our beloved Indiana Hoosiers travel east to fight the Maryland Terrapins. Um, you know, we were just talking about it already in chat. It's going to it's it's a must win type of situation. Thank goodness that Rob Fennessy is not out for the season. He does not have a torn Achilles plantar fasciitis. It's a bone heel toe bone type of thing it's I, it's day to day so thank goodness that that wasn't him tearing an achilles on out there on the court the other day which i was scared to death of watching the way that he came up and didn't really do anything um that presents a whole new set of problems for today i know rob fantasy uh and, and, and really none of us you know we're really sure because mike woodson keeps stuff tight to the vest and um post-game press conference he kind of come out and said Christian had a leg issue and that he wasn't strong enough to he wasn't he wasn't physical enough or physically ready strong enough to play the point. So what does that mean for Indiana right now if uh Christian Lander doesn't go today? That means that we've got it we're going to fall back on guys like Trey Galloway. Um Tamar Bates probably will play a pretty big role in that. But these guys are a little bit turnover prone. Uh, Xavier Johnson is going to have to be big today. Um, he's going to have to play 30 plus minutes, if you know, if not more. And he is going to have to be solid the whole day. Inside on this against this team, uh, we these are very similar teams. From what I got through watching uh, some Maryland tape, I feel like Indiana and Maryland are really really even keeled as far as, you know, ability, playmaking. I look at their stat sheets. They're all very similar all the way down as far as offense. Our defense is a little better. Uh, our And our shooting percentages uh, from two points a little bit better. But other than that, we're going to – we're in for a game today. Uh, Dante Scott and Eric Ayala plus Fats Russell, those three guys right there are, are a pretty good uh, group of uh, scorers, and they have – well, I don't know about Fats, but I know the other two have been around the program for a while. I know that they had a coaching change this season. It was a little different than ours. You know, uh, they had a retiring coach, and then they handed the reins over to Danny Manning while they looked for an interim. Danny Manning was a pretty solid coach, in my opinion. He was a great college basketball player, and I think he's getting this team up to speed where he wants them going forward. So, Look at what we got going today. We have got everything set up for a very important game on the road. This team has been very 
hit or miss, though. You know, they go, they play Rutgers at home a couple weeks back and get beat, handed to them. But then a couple weeks later, they go to Rutgers and, and then they win on the road at Rutgers, which is another very inconsistent team. But Illinois comes in here, which is probably one of the best teams in the Big Ten, minus Kofi Coburn, but they hand it to them. You know, without their big man, Illinois did not play well at all. So it's really hard to gauge where we're at as far as this team's overall talent level and how they're going to play it out today. So not exactly sure how this one's going to go today. But uh, I was telling Creek just a little bit ago in the chat, today is an absolute must win for IU. We need road victories. That really bumps up your NCAA tournament resume. Winning on the road is always a good thing. Uh, and you need to and you need to start building. You know, you can't – I know we went 3-1 and one in our last four, but we, you know, that game against Michigan really took us down a notch. And also in the house right now I see – SWFL Treasure Detecting Dennis is in the house. <laughs> Good deal. Uh, Alley Cat Treasures, Mr. Tim, is in the house as well. And then sneaking in at the end, Matthew Eddy or Edie, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, sir, but it converted you to an IU fan. Hey, you know what? Oh, converted IU fan. You got me. Hey, man, I, you know what? It's a really exciting program to watch. It's been a very historic program over the years. It's hard not to at least respect or appreciate uh, the trials and tribulations that this program has went through since the Bob Knight era, and it's kind of easy to root for. But that's that's kind of the thing in here. You know, we're trying to you know, you're you're all you're 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 honing in on our love because there's there's a lot of love in the teams that we support in here. Um, you know, and tomorrow is going to be a wild day. I'm really nervous about tomorrow going into Kansas City. I feel like that game is not going to be as good as it was for us at, at uh, Cincinnati. So I'm really worried about that tomorrow. But I think I'm going to watch that with Alex at her house. I don't have enough room in my studio area to broadcast with two people. I got this much room. It's a little tight spot. <clears throat> but as we say, you know, getting ready to start this game, I think the kickoff uh, or the kickoff, the tip is going to be here shortly. Should be within the next three to four minutes. So I have to look at the, the scoreboard here. Uh, it doesn't say, yeah. I use a one and a half point favorite on the road. I wish our DC betting guy was in here today. Let us know what he bet on this game. Kind of curious about that as well. Yeah, Matthew, you know, what's what's hard to remember, man, is where is everybody's fandom? Because I've, I'm, I'm so used to so many Green Bay Packer and Kansas City Chief people that it's, it's kind of hard sometimes because we got some Tennessee Titan fans. Um, well, we got some UC Bearcat uh, fans as well that kind of came in here. Oh, my God. I Am I old? You're going to be ready for the Senior Olympics after all these days trolling the canals. Yeah. Um, well, you know, as far as as far as, you know, I, We've talked about doing a show in here about sports betting because Alex has a pretty good knack for uh, the way games are going to play out. She doesn't always get them right, but she gets the situational in there pretty well. We talked about that. We was talking about the the, the dino betting guy, DC, uh, that was in here uh, last week. And uh, I'm trying to get him to come over and hang out with us for a night just to see what he has. But she's pretty solid at that. I I tend to I tend to gamble too much with my heart, therefore I don't like to bet. Let's see where we're at here as far as when we're gonna start up here. I love sports betting. Uh, it's absolutely uh, we got in our casino, we got a sports book right there. We have a, a we have a FanDuel sports book in our casino where we work, but we're not allowed to play there, obviously. I see now they're back off at the at the studio again. You know, I wish I had the freedom to do that. We are favored on the road. We don't win on the road. It's a terrible game if you want to bet, if you want to enjoy it. I agree. Uh, Michigan State, uh, just showing the highlights right now, is absolutely pounding Michigan at home today and not playing well. I watched the first half of that. They are not playing well. And let's see where Louisville ended up against Duke. Duke's down five or up five with about five minutes to go. They increased that to eight. 
Let's see where we finish. It looks like they're getting ready to put it away. Yeah, Duke ends up winning that game at Louisville today by nine. Isaiah Thomas Matthew was my favorite. Oh, uh, that's the first that's the first basketball player from IU I remember, and that's for the eighty one national championship team. Thomas Cole or Thomas Calvert Cheney. Calvert Cheney had probably one of the smoothest strokes in the nineties uh, as far as a shooter went. Real lanky build, uh, played really heads up basketball, and of course Bobby Knight, uh, you know, was my inspiration. You know, as far as as coaching goes, I think that guy there is absolutely a living legend that absolutely deserves. Uh, he deserves every bit of uh, accolades he ever received and probably kind of got a bad rap at the end because everybody knows that he loved those kids. And, uh, you know, it was just changing the way the times were changing. It's like you can't be a parent today like you was a parent in 1975. It just doesn't happen. If you were, you'll be in jail. But you know what? I was raised with parents like that and turned it out fine. I never thought anything was in anger, you know, so, you know, they, they kind of get they kind of got that all confused. What's up, Josh? Metal Angler stopping in for a second today as we get ready to start this basketball game. Yeah, you know, it's tough love, dude. And it's called discipline. That's called respect. There's a lot of things involved in there. Yeah, he didn't play his senior year and there's something special. I, I just all I remember about watching Calvert Chaney play was that, you know, he didn't he you know, he was never on Knight's bad side, really. I mean, Knight might get on him a little bit, but he was never, you know, post game interviews or anything like that. Knight always, you know, he made heads up plays. He made smart plays, you know, and, and almost almost got them into, you know, another national championship in, in, the, in the early 90s. I know he put some whoopings on Michigan. Hey, Tim, are you still in the house right now? Just curious if you are. Drop me a quick chat on here. I want to, I got something to show you. Yeah, absolutely, Jake. It's going to be night court. Dude, I'm doing really well. If you haven't noticed, uh, Alex and I pushed this channel over a thousand subscribers this week. We've been putting a lot of time and effort into growing this side of it. Uh, the other channel's still doing really well too. So, you know, we're just, we're just putting in the effort. We like this stuff. We like the, the time and, you know, sharing it with people and we love broadcasting. We like, we love all the sports and I get to do something with my daughter every single day. You know, when you got a 25 year old kid out there, how often do you get to, to do stuff with your kid every day? You know, once they're out of the house, it doesn't happen very often. So, for if nothing more, I get to spend time with her. So that I'm really thrilled with. And this here is just bonus. It's a blast. And I, I, I think people pick up on our energy, how we how we're fired up about everything. And uh, and so we're growing a, a nice little diverse community in here of some treasure hunters. We got some football fanatics. We got some Green Bay Packer fans, uh, college football people. Uh, now we're getting college basketball people in here from the IU side. Some of them are showing up watching the football. Hey, there's Cal. What's up, Venture Delo? Hey, mail did go out finally. I look for that Monday or Tuesday in your mailbox. I hope your little girl enjoys the shirt. Ian from Relics and Stack Stones. Hey, if you guys like my green screen background here, that man right there in the chat, Mr. Ian, um, put his name up there really fast. He is fantastic with graphics and uh, and has some pretty affordable prizes. If you'd like uh, prices, if you'd like to. If you would like to do some upgrades for your channels, man, uh, give me a yell and I'll, I'll have a chat with Mr. Ian. We'll see what we can come up with and get him get him making some making some money doing with the talents that he's got. Dude, I hope I can't wait, man. I'm sorry it took so long to get out. I had him in the back of the car for like four days and I kept forgetting to stop at the post office. You say this game scares me. Uh, me too. This is one of those games that I, I I look at like try to game plan against uh try to game plan against Maryland. They they play a very similar style of basketball to what we're playing at IU with the you know basically positionless basketball. Although you know you kind of go into your positions. Um 
but at the end of the day, you know, they are, they, you know, they're, they play three guards and, and four and two forwards, you know, Dante Scott, Eric Ayala and Fats Russell have all been really good. Hakeem Hart has been coming on, on lately. And uh, the fifth, I'm not, I don't remember his name right now, but this is going to be, this is going to be a challenge for us today. You know, we've got to play good. We can't afford to play bad. We can't afford to play turnover ridden basketball. They will kill us on the break if we do. Getting ready to start. Where's my screen going there? Okay. Yeah. Haven't watched a full game since 1992. Whew. No doubt. That's the other thing. I'm always I'm always rushing to make the post office. Fortunately, I got out early one day this week. All right, here comes the tip. We've got our regular starting five on the floor, and Xavier's going to control the tip. He forwards it off to Parker on the right wing, gets it down on the block to Jackson Davis, right where we want to start this game at. He backs down in, looking for a shot, nothing doing, good defense, gets pushed out, drives around, looks, puts – oh, he loses it off the hand, goes back up, puts it up off the backboard, misses – and loses the rebound. Here comes Maryland on the first possession. Trace had two shot looks at it and did not connect. Russell's got the ball out high. He's in tow by Xavier Johnson. Goes around a pick, looking for a round, nothing doing. Rotates the ball to the left wing. Gets it down on the block. Throws it back out. Uh, Ayala's got the ball being guarded by Parker Stewart. Ayala takes a long three and buried it. Good defense there by Parker. He had his hand in his face. Better shot by Eric Ayala. Three to nothing. Let me make sure that scoreboard kicks in. IU's got the ball. The scoreboard's not kicked in yet. Xavier gets it over the corner to Race Thompson, who's looking for a shot, drives the baseline, loses it, comes back, gets into the paint, looks, turn around hook. It's going to be short off the rim, controlled by... Maryland, here we go. They're coming back down. Fats Russell brings the ball across the timeline. Looking to drive. He gets all the way to the basket, and he gets it up off the rim. No good. Offensive rebound tipped out to Russell. Over back. And there's another three-pointer. I believe that one was Dante Scott. Six no. Gee, many Christmas. Keep resetting my scoreboard until it kicks in. IU's got the ball. They get the ball down to Trace on the block. Trace has got Dante Scott on his back. Looking, here comes the double team. Gets it back out around the horn. Here comes Miller Cop. Shoots the 15-footer, and that's an air ball. He's thinking he got fouled. They're going to say that it's just an air ball and nothing doing. Yeah, I know, Creek. Here we go. Did the scoreboard kick in just yet? Uh-oh, let's see. I'll have to fix that really fast. Hold on. Uh, what is going on here? Maryland's got the ball inside on the block and puts it up. And then there's a hook over Trace Jackson Davis. Their other forward gets it in. Wahab. That is an 8-0 run to start the game by Maryland. They're looking, they looking efficient. They're not taking bad shots. And their three-pointers are going in. Brady's gone. Time to party. Oh, God, did he retire? There's the pass inside, and Race Thompson gets us on the board with a dunk on a quick feed from – looked like that would have been Xavier Johnson coming from the top. Eight to two, Maryland. I – nah, he's too old to come back. Here we go. They rotate the ball around the horn. They get it over to Scott on the right wing. He's got a pick out high, nothing doing. Rotates it back to the left. Russell's got the ball. Step back three, hard off the backboard. Race Thompson controls the rebound, and he's going to bring the ball up. Looking around, he's going to get back. He's going to hit X for a three-pointer and transition. Short off the rim. Here comes Ayala for Maryland. Maryland gets it across to Dante Scott, coming across the timeline. He drives the lane out to Russell in the corner to Ayala for three. Hard off the back iron. Parker Stewart controls the rebound, and he's going to bring the ball up. Parker Stewart's going to get into open court. Nothing doing. Hands off to Xavier. Xavier goes around to pick. Nothing happening. Gets it down to Trace on the block. Trace gets an easy layup. Maryland's a little lazy on defense. Four to eight right now. 16. And I can't believe my scoreboard is not working. I'll fix that here in a minute. 
Oh gosh, got to wait for a hey, a commercial will serve a purpose. Dante Scott's got the ball out high, looking around, nothing doing. Gets it down to the block. Wahab's got the ball against Race Thompson. He's going to push his way in. Race blocks the shot, giving up an inch or two there, and he's going to bring the ball up the court. Race Thompson looks like he's going to assert himself as the point guard today a little bit. So that's the way you got to do it. Defense wins basketball games in the Big Ten. Now we got a chance to cut the lead back to two or one, depending upon how it goes. Trace has got the ball in the paint against Dante Scott. The floater's a little high off the back rim, and it doesn't go down. Trace just can't get one to go right yet, but the get is still early. 15-40 to go in the game. Eight to four. Here comes Dante Scott's trying to get around Miller Cop. There's nothing doing. They're going to reset the offense with 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. Fats hands over to Dante Scott, and Miller Cop let him go. Parker Stewart clears the rebound, throws it out to X, who's going to bring the ball across the timeline. 8-4. to four. X drives the lane, goes up. And he gets fouled. He went in hard to the basket. It was a nice hard foul, but uh, that's going to be a foul on Maryland. Yeah. Wahab, I mean, it, Wahab went up and, and blocked it, but he made contact with the body. That's what you got to do. You got to be aggressive at the rim. I got a commercial here. I'm going to see if I can fix this. Uh, let's try to do something else here really fast. I want to see if I can get this fixed because it is not working for me. If I can get that going, January 29th. Let's see. So it looks like it's just the scoreboard. I opened it in a new window. All right, I guess we'll just have to wait until it comes up. Oh, well. Eight to four. We started out letting them have an 8-0 run, but they played really well. But they've, they're have they already slowing down and getting lazy on defense. Not They're not moving as well underneath the basket as that I assumed that they should be with only being a few minutes into the game. So this may bode well. You know, watching the game, I still I still feel like Miller Cop and Parker Stewart are non-existent in the offense. It's just like they're waiting around to be open and get a, an open shot. I I really don't understand their style of play and how they're playing that way. Yeah, no doubt, Dabney. And Alex, I'm telling you, she's on it. She knows. She will text me whenever something happens, and I'm like, I haven't even seen that yet, but she's got it. There's the scoreboard comes up. Let me get to take a look at that. There, it looks good. All right, finally got that thing fixed up. Yeah, Dabney, she's she's solid. Yeah, everybody that pops in today, be sure to hit that like button if you don't mind. Everybody that smashes that button, it really helps us get shared out a little bit more, gives us the opportunity to grow our audience, and we do appreciate that. And I love it when you guys com communicate in the chat as well. At least say hi when you get here. Uh, gives me an opportunity to try to, to try to get to know you guys. So I, I, I do appreciate that as well. Eight to four right now. I'm looking at – they're showing the two coaches in their years in the NBA. They had very, very similar career averages as far as scoring and assists. I mean, both had assistant coaching jobs. Mike Woodson was a head coach in the NBA for a few years. Taking a break at work. Hey, Tim, there you go. Hey, I want to show you something since you're back. That's a two-pound bag, Tim. I'm going to be diabetic before it's over, but that's okay. First free throw by Xavier is good. 
or second free throw, I'm sorry, six to eight. It's now a two-point game, and IU is going to go into a little bit of a press. Xavier Johnson likes to do this on his own. He's going to back it up a little bit. Russell is going to bring the ball across the timeline. Miller Cop is playing out high. They're pressuring the ball a little bit more, trying to get the ball down to Wahab. They can't do it. Drives the lane, and he throws it out to Ayala around the horn to Scott for three. And there is going to be a travel call on Hart as he goes to make that pass. Man, if Rodgers retires, that truly screws Green Bay, by the way. I was watching that this morning. Xavier gets it to Trace at the top of the key. Trace is going to dribble around, looking, hands it back off to Xavier, nothing doing, gets it to Parker. Parker comes off the dribble, looking, nothing happening. Here comes Miller off the pick, nothing doing. 14 on the shot clock. Xavier's got the ball out high, goes around a pick, going to pass it over to, to Race Thompson for three. Race Thompson is burying three points here, lady. He hit that one perfect. He shot that in rhythm from the right wing. Beautiful shot. Indiana is on a 9-0 run in the last 3-0-6, playing stout defense. Ayala gets the ball down to Wahab underneath the basket, and there's going to be a foul on Parker Stewart on the incoming pass. Uh, I think he got him on the arm. Right on, Tim. I, I was going through the grocery store, and I saw that big bag, and I said, oh, that's what Tim meant. Picked her up. Guys are like family. I'm always, whenever you guys suggest something or bring it back up, it makes me think like when I go to the store or something, and I'm always thinking. Gets the ball inbounds. Got a couple subs in here for Maryland that I'm not familiar, but Russell drives the lane, ball fake, puts the shot up, off the glass, no good. But there's going to be a foul, and it's going to be a push off on Maryland on the rebound. What up, Jonathan Pilgrim? Are you ready for tomorrow to watch the Rams play them 49ers for the third time? Number 10 pushed Trace Jackson Davis out of the way on that rebound, and that's where the foul came from. 9-8 IU looking to extend their lead here. They get the ball inside to Trace Jackson. He goes up. He's going to get a foul on the shot, and it's going to go against the same guy that pushed him down on the other end. That's number 10. Let me get a name on him. Tell you what, you know, based on the number of Maryland fans missing, they must really suck this year. You know, I don't think they really suck. I just think they're in a transitional stage, you know, having their coach retire at the beginning of the season. And, but but you're right. The students aren't there. That's that's really bad. Third time is going to be the charm for Jimmy G. I think so, too. Trace's second free throw is also good. 11-0 run right now that Indiana is on, and Maryland does not seem to have an answer. Dante Scott, uh, Trey Galloway is in the game right now. He came in for Parker Stewart. Ayala, they're going to run the weave out high with Russell and Ayala. They're going to feed the ball down inside. He goes off the backboard, hits the rim, and goes out of bounds off a really strange pass there. I would have bet on it, too. Well, I don't know. that had been tough. Here comes, come across the timeline. Race Thompson feeds it in to Trace on the block. He almost overthrows him, and that was Xavier Johnson. My bad. He hits Galloway for three, shot short. Race Thompson picks up the offensive rebound, hands it off to Trace at the top of the key. Xavier will reset the offense. Xavier's looking to get around the pick, nothing doing. Drives the lane, shoots the floater, hard off the back rim, controlled by number 10 from Maryland, and here comes Fats Russell up the left side. Comes across the timeline, looking around, hits Ayala on the wing, trying to get the ball inside the post. Trace is fronting the post. They're pushing it down inside the block. Russell gets over to – and Ayala goes up for the layup. He gets blocked, and there's another two blocks in a row. Reese is number 10. Dennis Daniel, how are you doing today, sir? Glad you could join us for Indiana and Maryland. Are you a Maryland or an IU fan today so I can address you properly, sir? Reese gets the ball. Hits Ayala for a three on the run. Not a very good rhythm shot. Xavier takes off. Trying to drive up the court. Hands it off to Galloway for the layup. Xavier Johnson moving the pace. Nice pass to Galloway. Two more points for Indiana. And we are up to a five-point lead on a 13-0 run by the Hurry and Hoosiers. 
Russell tries to play it, no shot there. He gets it, gets it over. Dante Scott's got the ball driving on Geronimo. Back out to Russell, nothing doing. There's the switch. They got the mismatch with uh, Dante Scott on uh, Xavier. He feeds it to Ayala. Ayala goes to Reese. Blocked again by Miller Cop. Get that out of the middle. They're going to block that stuff all day long as Miller Cop takes out the shot by Reese. There's going to be a foul on Galloway on the inbound pass to Ayala on the, under the basket. Got him with the body. There's the inbound pass again. He's looking. He gets it over to the right wing. Dante Scott's got it. Geronimo is up on him tight. He does not want to give him any room to shoot. Russell drives around, around the pick, rotates it around to Ayala. Ayala looks back the other way. Russell's going to get the open three-pointer, and he's going to bury it. That ends a 13-0 run for Indiana, 13-11, 11-54 left to go in the first half. As Xavier Johnson comes across the timeline, looking to start the offense, gets it over to the right wing to Galloway. Galloway back to Johnson at the top. Cop hands it off to Geronimo. Geronimo back to Cop. Cop takes a 17-footer, and it rims out. Pretty good-looking shot, wide open, just couldn't get it to go down. Scott pulls up on the – on. it was not really in rhythm, but takes a quick shot. Rebounds controlled by X. X hands it to Trace. Trace over to Geronimo for the dunk. Jordan Geronimo gets his first two points of the game by hustling. There you go. The, at the end of that right there, at the end of that play, you hustle down the court, you get yourself into position, and therefore you have a chance to receive a fast break basket, and that's what Geronimo did. Hustle earned him two points, and that's what we need at Indiana. We don't need guys that slack on every play. We need guys that are going to hustle down the court because that's when you get the cheap baskets. Very good passing. Ole Miss always has to be a good basketball program. Football shows some promise here and there, but we hold we hold no expectations for a national championship. You know, Ole Miss is a really tricky school in that SEC because they don't seem to get the recruiting like the other the other Southern schools. Um Mississippi State's kind of in the same in the same boat there. When you got LSU, uh, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, you know, all in that area, Arkansas, those are all tough schools to Auburn, tough schools to recruit against against in basketball and football. Never been to Mississippi. I've only crossed through there one time in my life. I want to go. I want to go down to where by where Jonathan lives and do some metal detecting. That'd be fun. Yeah, you know what? These coaching moves right now are, are getting kind of heavy. And you know what? Uh, the way it looks down there, Tim, New Orleans, if they, if they solve their quarterback situation to any degree, will be in position to have a really good season next year because everybody else, Tampa Bay and Green Bay, they've got a lot of issues to work out about money. And uh, so New Orleans, uh, Carolina still hasn't got anything anything figured out. Uh, and then what else do you got down there? Atlanta. Atlanta's probably going to be one of the teams that has a little bit of competition. I think so, too, but I bet you they don't, Alex. I just feel it. But I guess it really depends on who the coach is. I kind of feel like Winston's going to struggle without Peyton. Are you in Huntington, uh, West Virginia, Matthew? I, uh, my my stepmom has family there, and they go down there to visit quite often. That's not a bad drive, honestly. Yeah, it just depends on who the – if they let Dennis Allen have that team, Alex, if they let Dennis Allen take over for Sean Payton there, I think that might be – 
that might be yeah it's something like that matt it's about it's about three hours i think <laughs> yeah they're showing trace jackson's numbers in comparison He's in he's in the same range as Chris Weber was in the 92-93 season of the Fab Five. So that's pretty good. First in blocks in the Big Ten, second in rebounds, third in field goal percentage, and fourth in points in the conference. Definitely headed for the headed for some honors this year for sure. I use up 15-11, 11-16 to go. Fats Russell brings the ball across the timeline. Xavier Johnson still in tow. They're going to look around. They fade it back out. Russell rotates it around the outside to get it to Reese inside. And Geronimo stuffs that as he goes up for the layup. Defense is not letting them have anything at the basket. That's probably our sixth or so block in this game already. X gets it down. He feeds it inside. There's going to be a foul on Reese again. I think his name is Reese. I hope I have that right. And he is going to go probably to the bench. I think that's his third foul in less than five minutes. There's the inbound play. And Galloway has to take a timeout because they cannot get the ball in. 10.53 to go. I'm in from Monroe City where Steve Alford was a boy. Well, that's that's Indiana lore right there, Mr. Dennis. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look up exactly because I I I know about where that is. But uh just got some curiosity. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Oh, no. I, yeah, I did hit the wrong tab. Let's change that a second. There we go. Let's see. Just curious here. Oh, you're over by Vincennes. Am I correct? Galloway finally gets the ball in after the timeout. Let's get back to the game. Feeds it down on the block. Trace has got the ball on the block. He has not had any luck, so he passes. Galloway drives the lane over to Tamar Bates for three in the corner. Soft off the rim. Geronimo with the offensive rebound out to X. X can't get it. Geronimo cleans it up inside with the basket. Jordan Geronimo with two offensive rebounds there and then a putback. Dude, I'm telling you, he needs to play more. He's just got to control his emotions. He tends to go to sleep, though. There's the over there for the three-point bat shot. No good. Geronimo goes up. Geronimo comes down with the board and loses it. He, there's one of those plays where he shouldn't. He loses control of the ball because he never gets a hold of it, and he's going to pick up a cheap foul because of it. But, yeah, absolutely. You need that kind of energy. You need that guy. He's a spark plug off the bench. I really wish Tamar Bates had that kind of energy coming in. Jordan Geronimo is playing excellent minutes for IU this year. Here we go again. Gets the ball off to Russell on the inbound. Savior's tied up against him. He has not given him a whole lot of room. 17-11. Russell passes in the corner. Tamar Bates gets his hands. And here comes Christian Lander. Looks like he's going to come in for a few minutes here to give Xavier Johnson a rest. He has a weird uh, knee brace on. As fast as Russell goes to the bench, I think, uh, yep, there we go. Hector Garcia, Tom Brady retires. Lander's finally getting a chance to play. I'm not sure what's wrong with his legs. Let's watch him see how he does. He's going to be at, stay out there on IL, and he's going to shoot the long three. No good. Offensive rebound up and in. There was a very nice play there. Christian's going to get a chance by Green. Christian's going to get a chance to lead up the court here. He's going to bring it up. He feeds over to Geronimo. That should have been a kick. There's a turnover on the pass by Geronimo. Here comes Maryland looking to get back. 17-13, they're down four. Feed IL on the post. He's got up against Lander, and that's a mismatch. Lander's going to get called for the hand check, but, you know, there was nothing to do. And that's not breaking news. If you come back in here about 15 minutes ago, Alex reported it then because she had it first, man. She was on it. But that is big news. We knew it was coming. 
he's never spoke of it before ever. And now the and he talked about it during his post game press conference. Said he had to think about it. So guess what? It was coming. Here we go down on the aisle. Is pushing on Galloway. Goes up for the shot. Doesn't get it. Geronimo with another rebound. Hands it off to Lander. Lander feeds Bates. Bates goes all the way to the hoop. Misses the layup. And there's going to be a jump ball there between. Uh, gotta get it. I can't get his name. Thirty three. Yeah, it's breaking news still. I know. I'm just saying. You post it in the community tab. Right on. Tamar Bates put up a good effort. He was a little bit too far into the basket. Race goes up and, and makes a – it's going to be Maryland ball. Indiana is up four still. Xavier's getting a much-needed break. Let's see if Christian Lander can keep it up out here and, and do well today. Don't do too much, young man. Playing defense out high. Gets the ball in on the block. Pushing down against Race. Goes up with a shot. Tough shot. Race is going to get called for the foul there with the body, but Wahab is going to get two free throws. There is 8.58 left to go in the first half. First free throw by Wahab is good. Second free throw is up and it is also good. Geronimo is going to do the inbound. They're back to a two-point deficit here. Clawing back. They're going to initiate a little bit of press since we don't have our point guard on the floor. The ball goes down the court. And he throws it over Tamar Bates, and it's going to be a turnover. This is what Woodson was afraid of. Long, long three-pointer by Ayala is good. And he is going to bury that, and it's going to give uh, Maryland a one-point lead. Maryland's on a 7-0 run. IU gets it across the timeline before they can set the press. And now we get into our offense here a little bit. Christian Lander gets it inside to Race Thompson. Looking around, nothing doing. Tamar gets it back to Christian. Christian looks over, feeds it over to Galloway on the side, gets it to Geronimo. Geronimo puts it up and in. Jordan Geronimo with another basket. Uh, Auburn, Jonathan. Here comes Christian Lander in tow against the backup point guard for uh, Maryland. Tamar Bates is on green. He feeds the post down to Dante Scott against Jordan Geronimo. He tries to back him in, rotates the ball back out, looking around, nothing doing, takes a long three-pointer off the back iron. Tamar Kamara controls the rebound. He's going to push it back the other way. Tamar gets the ball up the court, looking around in the ends, looking to get it extend. Galloway drives the baseline, throws it back out to Tamar Bates for three, hard off the back iron. Geronimo goes up too early. He looks like he's a little slow getting up, but here comes Maryland. They got a five on four. Geron or, uh, Lander cuts off Dante Scott. Lander has the block, but they're going to call him with the other hand. Ayala has very much an NBA style range. Well, I mean, well, we last year was really an indicator of that. On he and he's actually bulked up a little bit. Nope. Wow, that's got to be fun to watch. I can't think of a I can't think of a more uh, interesting football game to keep my eyes on for that long. But you know, all things considered, we are on the road today. I don't think home home court's going to be that much of an advantage in the second half. Also, Trace and Xavier are getting some resting minutes right now. We've still got a lead. I think I'll take that for the first half. If you are new here or haven't said anything yet, uh, please smash the like button. Helps us get shared out a little bit more. I appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Also, drop a comment in the chat. Let us know where you're at and who you are, what you like. Yeah, he did block the. He blocked it, but he fouled with the other hand at the same time. Kind of this type of thing. Wrist, hand on the ball. I believe so. 
He was full practice yesterday. He hadn't cleared protocols yet, but that's the next step to play in the game. Rodman instead. Ooh. Uh. Woo. I'm a little wound up for this game today. It's a little bit going on. Yeah. Being full practice yesterday was good. He should be in the game. Rodman is built different. Dennis Rodman was, uh, he found a way to get himself into the NBA considering he couldn't shoot. And, and he just excelled at what he excelled at. And that made Michael Jordan happy. Therefore, you, you end up with your legacy. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Put him back and like smack LeBron around. That dude's a weird cookie, man. You know, I'm really, you know, we, I, you know, as IU fans, I think what we really need to start seeing at this point is we need to start seeing some progression out of Tamar Bates. He's not really, he started out pretty good. But as the level of competition got stronger, he really backed up. He needs to he needs to find his way a little bit more. Dante Scott hits the free throw. It's going to be a tie ball game with 7:23 left to go in the first half. Yes, he was. Second free throw is also good. Maryland's going to eke out a one point lead. Xavier Johnson is back on the floor after about a three minute of game time rest. Gets the ball across the timeline to Tamar Bates. Beats the press. ZX is going to set up the uh, offense at the top of the key. Looking around. Feeds it to Trace right inside there. Looks like they're playing a, a, a weird zone. Gets it down to Race on the block. Race goes up and in over Dante Scott. They're playing a weird-looking kind of matchup zone here. I can't quite figure it out yet. IU goes back out in front by one. 6.50 to go in the half. 21 to 20, Indiana. This game is really. Here goes Ayala driving the baseline. Nothing doing. Feeds it inside. And there is a shot put up and in. That was a very nice play on the pass by Ayala by Hart. Akeem Hart gets a gets the easy two there on the cut. Yeah, they were married. X has got the ball out high. He's facilitating today. He hasn't taken a lot of shots. Looking around, gets it in, drives inside, gets all the way to the basket, but there's going to be a reach-in foul called. I believe that's going to go on Hart, and uh, that will get um, – we got one more foul to go to be in the bonus. I think that's their sixth. Indiana with the 15-5 and five record, getting close to that 20. Yeah, poor Ozzy, man. Love Ozzy Osbourne. Parker for three. Short off the front rim. It wasn't a – looked like it was a little bit awkward shot. It looked like he was falling backwards when he took it. 21-22, Maryland's got the lead. Fats Russell rotates the ball around to Wahab. Wahab is trying to drive, but I think he – oh, I don't know. I thought he lost it, but they're going to say we knocked it out of bounds. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, he needs to be that guy. He needs to cut to get to get himself open. Gets him in rhythm too, Dabney. Ayala looks. He's ball fake. He's going to step back, look for the three. Parker Stewart trying to defend really well. Fats Russell for three. Hard off the back rim. Parker Stewart's going to control the rebound. Parker Stewart took out them dreadlocks, and I can't tell who he is. Xavier's going to set it up. 23 on the shot clock from the top of the key. Passes over the left wing to Parker Stewart. Gets it down to Trace on the block. Trace is going to drive against Wahab. Puts it up and in. Trace Jackson Davis finally getting one to go down. 23-22 IU. 
5.22 left to go in the half. Oh, snap. Hang on a second. Oh, that's mine. Ayala gets in and going to throw it up. Russell alley-oops it to Wahab, and he gets a slam dunk there. Nice play by Maryland. They regain the one-point lead. 24-23 Maryland. 4.54 left to go in the half. Xavier Johnson's looking to get the ball inside to Trace. Can't do it. Trace is in the lane, gets back out. Galloway tries to dribble drive around. He's going to try to get around. Nothing doing. Race Thompson is out there for three. Doesn't take it. Rotates it back to Galloway. Galloway loses the handle. Eight on the shot clock. Race is going to hit it to Xavier with four seconds. He's going to shoot the three. Xavier Johnson, hard off the rim. Wasn't a real good shot as the shot clock was running down. Maryland has the lead by one and the ball. 426 to go. Ayala looking to, to probe. Here goes Russell into the lane. He drives all the way to the basket, and it rims out. No good. Wahab controls the rebound. Nothing doing there. Galloway gets the steal. Here he comes the other way. Gets it to Race. Race goes all the way to the basket, and it rims out. Oh, my gosh. Here comes back the other way, and Hart gets an easy layup. Parker Stewart wasn't staying back with the guy. It's a three-point lead for Maryland as they're trying to extend in the last four minutes of the half here. Xavier gets it over to uh, Parker. He gets it down to Trace on the block. Trace goes right around Wahab and slams it home to cut it back to one. Yeah, th you're right. They, they get lazy at points. Who's not in the game? Geronimo. That's where their energy comes from. Ayala's probing. Gets it back out to Wahab, who's going to try to rotate it around. Russell gets the ball on the handoff. Russell's looking to get around. He's going to try to get in the lane. Gets it over to Scott on the left wing. No shot there. Scott's trying to dribble drive. Looking. Nothing doing. Gets it back to Russell at the top of the key. Long three as the shot clock is winding down. Hard off the rim. Trace controls. Good defense by IU. Galloway brings the ball up the left wing, hits Parker in the corner, gets it down to Race on the block. Race is going to back himself in, goes up for the shot. Trace controls the rebound and misses. Here comes Hart the other way, trying to run out. Nothing doing, gets it over to Russell in the corner. No, he drives the lane. Back out to Ayala for three. Hart off the back rim. Race Thompson controls. Hand off to Xavier. We got numbers. Here we go, two on one. Galloway with the dunk. A little bit of hustle goes a long way right there. Galloway gets – you run and cut, you get rewarded. Galloway is out high on Hart, trying to steal it from him. Hart's trying to drive around, nothing doing. 12 on the shot clock. Maryland's offense is gassed. They are not moving. Dante Scott's going to drive the lane, throws it up. No good. Controlled by Race Thompson, hands it off to X. Here we come up the court. Galloway's out ahead. Galloway's going to go all the way to the basket. He's going to get the foul by Hart because they were not in position to play defense, and we're going to go to timeout. Yeah, what's up, Shawnee? Nice to see you, Miss Amethyst. Thank you for stopping in today. Smash the like if you would not mind. Helps us get shared out a little bit more. Uh, Gal but, you know, when they run the ball, when they, when they up the pace, you can see that Maryland was getting tired. When we up the pace a little bit, we're a we're a better team. Try to get that ball. Look ahead. Yeah, I know, no doubt. If it wasn't for some timely three point shooting for uh, Maryland, we should be. What's up, Mister Tony? Nice to see you, brother. Thank you for stopping in today. We're in a little bit of a tight game here. Maryland's really tired at finishing off the half. We're surviving. Uh, Christian Lander did play a little bit today. Doesn't look like he's strong. He doesn't look like he's very strong. They look like they're bullying him around a little bit. So I don't know how much we're going to see. And I'm not sure what the, the status of his leg is. But thank goodness Rob Fennessey's not out for the season. That's how you stay in a game with a replacement at the scoring table. Drive to the basket at, at the timeout. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I, You've got to make cuts. I, You know... You know, I don't think we've ever really sit down and discussed how important it is to move without the basketball on offense. Uh, Galloway's really good at that, and so is Tamar Bates, eh, somewhat. But Jordan Geronimo is the other one that's really good at moving without the basketball. And those guys, 
those guys get scrap points. They get, you know, they end up open because the defense gets lazy. Moving without the basketball on offense. Tony Galloway has beaten the ball down the court on breaks, fast breaks rather. Yeah, he does. You know, and, and hustle. You, you see really how much it works out. Hustle, moving without the basketball on offense. He, I can remember watching Bob Knight used to sit players down for doing exactly what Miller Cobb and Parker Stewart do. Sit out there on the wing waiting for the three-point shot. Uh, names don't really come right to mind per se because those were guys that – the guys that they sit down for that, you know, you don't really remember as well unless you go back and watch. But that's what happens. That's how offense needs to work. Being in motion during offense is how you, you get open because that doesn't let the defender guard a zone and two people at once, so to speak, and be ready to help. Yeah, I mean, you got to keep moving the ball. This team has shown moments of brilliance this year. Uh, you know, Xavier Johnson is not trying to do too much today. Kudos for that. He's trying to facilitate. He's trying to save his energy. Yeah, I know. I would love to see. You know, I really feel like that's the way we're headed for on the as far as the starting lineup should be going. I, I love Parker Stewart and Miller Cop. I love the fact that they got good range and they shoot well from the outside. But you got to do something to get open. You know, you just can't. You just can't stand there and expect your defender to come off of you and you get a wide open shot. She's uh, working, Courtney, but she's around. Thank you for stopping in, Courtney. If you wouldn't mind, smash the like, please. And what up, Puppet? Nice to see you, my brother. Back here again. There's the inbound pass to Trace Jackson Davis. Miller Cop finds him wide open, gets a quick two. Three-point lead for IU with two minutes to go in the half. Now you got to clamp down, play tough D, and let's get to the half point. Let's build a lead here. Fast Russell gets it over. On the right wing, nothing happening there. Cop defending Ayala gets to the top of the key. They feed Wahab down on the in the post. He tries to drive around Trace. Trace goes up with him, gets the rebound. Good D handoff. Here comes Xavier. Xavier's got his head up. Nothing happening on uh, coming across the timeline. They settle into the offense. Here comes Parker Stewart off a pick. Hits it down to Trace on the block. Now everybody's just standing around again. Pass gets was going back to Xavier. Gets tipped out of bounds. Good hands play by uh, Maryland. Gotcha. Thank you. I appreciate that, Courtney. We appreciate you. Very much so. That like really helps. Gets us shared. Xavier's going to take the ball around the time at the three-point line. He's going to drive around a pick, looking, nothing doing. Gets inside. Geronimo for three, who's wide open. Oh, it just goes hard off the back iron. Here comes Fats Russell with the ball up the other side. Passes off to Dante Scott. And Geronimo is defending him out tight, 30 foot from the basket. Nothing. Ayala's got it at the half court line. He's going to try to go around Miller Cop. There's a pick, nothing doing. Back over to Scott on the right wing. He probes the middle, trying to get around Geronimo, gets to the basket, puts it up, no good. Trace controls the rebound, hands it off to X. One minute to go in the half. Xavier's going to drive. He's going to draw the foul from Eric Ayala because he doesn't want to get back. So that will be – that looks like that's going to give Xavier two free throws. And if you watch Xavier Johnson's shots, yeah, they, if they can just lock down for one more possession and make a couple free throws. Watch his free throws. His free throws turn sideways. Well, they kind of they kind of rotate at this angle. It's like it's turning and it eventually backspins. It's kind of like he's pushing it and it's, it's spinning it. Yeah, we, for sure. Second free throw is up, and it is also good. His free throw doesn't have a straight backspin. It's kind of a sideways angle. Fats Russell is going to bring the ball across the timeline. Indiana is on a 301 for the last three minutes. Got Fats out near the half court line. There is the pick. Goes around, hands it off to Dante Scott on the left wing. Ayala is looking for the shot, trying to get around Parker. Trace picks him up. They got a double team. He goes and throws it over to the other side to Scott. Eight on the shot clock. Nothing happening on the offense. He's pushing on Xavier. Pushing, pushing. Shot clock violation. 
Good defense. We got 18 seconds to hammer it to get another to get another basket here with a five point lead. Dude, that defense is legit. I, I got I got some comments about CBS when we get to halftime. You're gonna laugh when they're talking about defenses. And I need to start looking up some of these stats because it, it really blew me away. <clears throat> IU comes across the timeline, 13 seconds. Xavier's, Xavier's gonna let the clock get down under 10. Here comes the pick. Seven, six. He's going to go around looking to the right. He's going to go all the way to the basket. Loses it. Over to Trace. Dunks it at the half. Way to end the half. 33-26. We finish out on a 10-0 run. <coughs> That's how you finish, bro. That's how you do it right there. Trace slammed it home with authority with about less than a second to go. Xavier got into the lane. Uh, you watch those two. They can have a fantastic two-man game. That's what you do right there. Ugh. Oh yeah, it was way it was way before the clock. It was just under a second when it went in. That's how you finish the half. All right, let's get over here. We got 27 votes in the poll today. Let's see how it finished up. We got a 63-37 split. That's just a little bit higher than what um, my odds maker thing that I get in the. Uh, for Indiana basketball in my email, they had it at about 57 to 43, something like that. 67, 23. If you haven't participated in the poll, please do so because at the end of half, we'll be taking it down. Yeah, so we were ta they were talking about, okay, they were talking about what it takes to be a national championship team on CBS Sports earlier. And if I can we'll see if I can remember all these correctly. A, you need to have a first round pick on your on your team. You need to be top 20 in Ken Palm defense. Uh, and I'm trying to remember the other two. The other two are, are leaving me right now. Uh, but basically what it came down to, so they were talking about which conferences had the best opportunity to win a national championship this year. And instantly, everybody goes to the SEC. And I know that's because Auburn's number one right now. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, I really just don't think – it never seems to work out that way. Uh, you know, the ACC is down this year, so everybody's leaning towards those two Southern conferences. The Big Ten gets zero respect for how – physical and how tough it is to play in this league. Mr. Emily, what's happening, Matt? Uh, we are at halftime now. IU ended the half on a 10-0 run to kind of take some control there. But uh, it was a, it was a pretty good finish to the half. But there was ups and downs. Oh, yeah. Well, there was one of the – that was one of the first teams they mentioned, Creek. They said Kentucky was going to uh, – would be one of those teams that should compete for a national championship. And I was, I completely disagreed because I feel like they, they just don't have that continuity yet. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's, they're going to have a tough time winning tonight. You know, once football season's over, there's going to be a few more basketball games in here, uh, national games of the week, one or two games or something like that so that I can get get well-versed going into March Madness. But I really, uh, when we get our March Madness stuff going in here, I really hope everybody participates with us because it's going to be a lot of fun. But, yeah, going through, it, it just, I, I haven't looked at the, any of the scoreboard yet today. Let's get on that a little bit. I want to see how the stats turned out for the first half, and that's not the one I want. Let's see. How about this one? Get that back up here. Yeah, Matt knew it. Knew it at the post game press conference. Knew it when he when he opened the door for that conversation and basically you know put his family before his football. I had to assume at that point in time that he thought that he honestly thought that he was going to win it this year and retire. And so to not 
and then he was going to retire after the Super Bowl, right after. I figured that's what his plan was. It didn't happen. He decided to take a few days to think about it because he was disappointed, probably in disbelief that they lost, and then comes back and, and, and a few days later decides he's going to retire. But you just wait. Tampa Bay is uh, – there's going to be a lot of news come out of there for a while. Let's look at the half. Let's get the box score up here. Where'd you go? Uh, Trace Jackson Davis. Four for seven from the floor. Two for two from the free throw line. Five D rebounds. Six rebounds overall. One assist. One block. Ten points. Yeah, I know, man. You know what? He sooner or later somebody was going to hit him, and it was going to it was going to break him just because. At 45, your body's not the same as it is at 38 or 37. You don't heal very fast. Things hurt longer. And I'm surprised that he stayed as long as he did, honestly. Kudos. He put up his best statistical year ever, I think, this year. I mean, you know, there's a lot to be said about that. But it is time to call it a day. Miller Cop, 0 for 2 from the floor. He did get a block and an assist. No points. Non-existent in the offense. Race Thompson, three for six. Seven points in the first half. Stellar, you know, uh, four rebounds, playing his game. That's his game. One block, one personal foul. Xavier Johnson did not play well in the first half. He did hit four free throws. He has six assists, though. And, and when we said earlier that he was playing within himself, you know, that means that his shot may not be going down. He took four shots and didn't hit any of them. Three of them were three-pointers, but he rebounded, he assisted, and guess what he didn't do? He did not turn the ball over. Xavier Johnson is growing up right before our eyes because the biggest knock on him out of pit was that he constantly turned the ball over. And, you know, his assist-to-turnover rate ratio was a negative. Six assists, zero turnovers, four points. That is what we need from him. Yeah, you know what? I'm telling you, that stuff hurts. And you know what? It, and it does. The pain does not go away overnight. When you're in your 20s, you can wake up the next day, go lay in a hot tub, get some get some massage therapy, and then you're back on the on the field. It takes you two days, three days to recover. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the key of the game, right there. Look at this. We'll get to the. Well, I'm going through here for a second. Jordan Geronimo comes in off the bench today with energy and enthusiasm for the game. And what does he do? He comes in here and performs. Uh, three rebounds. Two of those were offensive. He has one block, six points, and he only has a, he has a turnover and a foul. Excellent. Christian Lander picked up two fouls. They went right at him. Absolutely. <laughs> at 52, your body, body doesn't want to bounce back at all, Mary. Going on down this list, Tamar Bates was there, kind of non-existent. He did have a rebound. Trey Galloway ran the floor well. Got out in transition and hustled, got an assist, got a steal, and got four points. Trey Galloway found a way to assert himself into the scoring column. But here it is right now. Galloway and Geronimo off the bench, and they're putting energy in. Uh, Miller Cop and Parker Stewart don't have anything to show for it. Parker Stewart does have three rebounds in the first half. At least he crashed the glass. But, you know, as far as everything else goes, these guys don't have anything that the stat, you know, sheets show that they need to have in order to be starters continuously. So why not give Jordan Geronimo a couple starts? Put put Miller Cop or Parker Stewart on the bench for a few games and make them come off the bench and see how they like it. Uh, Jordan Geronimo, give him some confidence. Put him out there for a little bit. Let Trey Galloway get a start. Set them guys down for a hot minute. It ain't going to hurt them none. They're, you know, Fifth year seniors, both of them. It's not going to hurt them one little bit. It might, it, it might make them not take their starting jobs for granted. Those two guys have been playing absolutely uh, heads up basketball. You know, Tamar Bates is, is still a freshman. He's got a ways to go. Christian Lander, he's got, he's got a lot to do. But you got to remember, he's five star talent. Christian Lander was excellent out of Evansville. Fast kid. Hey, now Brady can eat a loaded baked potato. I would hate 
to live under the diet regimen that that guy probably lived under. Honestly, you know what? Just he's not. A, he's it might make him sick to if he changes his his diet at all. But wouldn't you like to just imagine what the first time you ate a loaded baked potato takes tasted like, man? Come on. But good. Hey, you know it's time. It was time. You know everybody kind of knew it. I don't expect, you know, I expect total turnover in there. You know, here's what I'm afraid of, Dabney. Uh, honest to God, I'm when this second hand second half comes out, what the tendency has been by Woodson is to leave his starters on the floor way too long in the second half, and they wear out in the last eight minutes of the game because he refuses to substitute. We still haven't seen Michael Durr. He's still on the he's still on coaches. Uh, do not play list coach's decision. And when, uh, by the look on Woodson's face, when he asked, when he was asked about that the other day in the uh, press conference, the way he said coach's decision didn't sound like he was going to play anytime real soon. I don't know what he did, but it wasn't good. And uh, Arizona State is hanging with Arizona at Arizona. That is amazing. I'm getting really tired of seeing this Duke replay of that shot at the end of the half. And then Michigan State just pounding Michigan today. That was something to behold. Yeah, you know, I still think he just needs to, you know, he has got, let, let's be honest, Durr, uh, you know, let's get over here a little bit to see who has an eye, dang it. Uh, Durr, Galloway, Geronimo, Lander, Bates. Um, I think Anthony Leo should get a couple minutes a game too, just at the, you know, just to, can't do no worse than 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 Parker Stewart or, or Miller Cop. At least he brings energy. These guys need a couple. These guys need a couple of minutes a game just getting out there. He can rotate twelve guys. Honestly, I know that. Uh, I know that the other kid from the freshman isn't quite ready to play yet either. But heck yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Did anyone else see that graphic on TJD? First in blocks, yes. Uh, second was field goal percentage. No, and fourth was scoring. Third, first was blocks. Second was field goal percentage. Uh, one was uh, third was rebounding. Rebounding was two, and maybe it was field goal percentage was three. Can't seem to show up on time, and these games are always at weird times. JB, it's either noon. Six o'clock. Sometimes we get eights. You know, it's really hard to to plan. I'm just grateful that it happened on a day off. I've got to do two in a row. Yeah, meatloaf died last week. Tony B, she turned me into a newt. Yeah, but you know, I, 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 I feel like Woodson is trying to keep everything really close to the belt, make these guys earn minutes. But you're going to need these guys in March. I, I hate to say it, these, you know, some of these other guys are going to have to play a little bit. No doubt, another legend out, you know. But it's going to be the story because you know. There's so many people that are, you know, that are, were stars that are in that age category. You're going to happen. Uh, JB, what's going to happen tomorrow is I don't have enough room in my studio area here at the house for Alex to come here per se. I was going to try to set it up. I'm not positive. We may still try that. Uh, but if not, we're going to do it from her house where we can watch it in the living room. So we're, we're definitely going to do the one. I won't be able to stay for the second game. I've got to get home. So, uh, but I will be in here for the second game. 
I'm sure I'm sure we're not going to let both of them go. She's off tomorrow. I'm sure she will make sure that she does both games for sure. It's going to be nuts at three o'clock tomorrow. Absolutely nuts. You think it, you know, that, that's that's house divided right there. She likes the Bengals, but she loves the Chiefs. She wants the Chiefs to win by 50 if you watched us last night. I don't think the Chiefs secondary is as good as as good as she thinks it is. And I think uh I, I think with our receiving core, I think we're gonna put up numbers too. So it it's probably gonna end up like that Buffalo game. One thing is, is that our defense found a way to to slow down to slow down Tyree Kill and Kelsey in that game, whereas Buffalo's did not. So that's where I feel like we got an opportunity. But that noise is so loud in that place. Ah, uh, Dabney, I got to work. Uh, you know, that's the other part of it. She'll be off on Monday. She will not have work on Monday. I absolutely, uh, you know, that's the other part. <laughs> I do anything for love, but I won't do that. Heck yeah. Uh, I, I got a, I got a job where I'm on call 24 hours a day. Uh, also, you know, my, my schedule is generally Sunday through Thursday, but I get phone calls all hours of the day. So, and then she, she has, is fortunate enough to have a part-time job at the same place that makes really good money. Uh, Tony, I'm a facilities operations manager for a 608 room hotel and casino. With a sports book, mind you, we have a sports book too. We have about four, four restaurants. Yeah, kitty. Everybody's been talking about it. I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I knew it was coming. We busted our friend Rob about it. And, uh, cause I told him it was coming. I told him that team was getting ready to just melt down completely. Kyle Trask was on a couple talk shows the other day talking about what he learned in the one year behind Brady. And he was talking about, you know, sitting on the sidelines and all the things that he picked up. He could not even put it into words, what he felt like he learned, what he didn't know, what he learned from just watching. And there's something to be said for sitting a year or two. Second half's underway. Parker Stewart feeds Cop in the corner. Ball gets down to the block to Trace. Trace goes all the way back to Cop. No-look pass for three. Miller Cop buries the three. Trace with a beautiful no-look pass to get Cop wide open for that shot. Defense followed his eyes, and he passed the ball the other direction. Fats Russell brings it across the timeline, hands it off to Ayala. Fats tries to get over, over to Ayala for the deep three. It's short off the rim. Dante Scott controls it. Race doesn't. Fats Russell drives the lane on the second chance and puts in a little floater. I'll get back to you in a minute, Dabney. Uh, over in the corner to Cop, Xavier hits him with the blob pass. Nothing doing. Feeds it inside to Race Thompson. Race has got one on one with Wahab. Race goes up with a little hook shot, puts it up and in. Two for two for IU in the second half. And they extend the lead to 10. 38 28. Crossing across the ball in the timeline here. Eric Ayala brings it across. Race Thompson's got nine points and four rebounds now. Defense is looking still pretty good. Fats Russell is on Xavier. Gets tries to go around the pick. Looking around, goes around again. Trace picks him up. Feeds it inside. There's the ball. It's loose on the floor. Miller Cop picks it up. Miller Cop's going to push it up the floor a little bit. Gets to the middle, but he loses control. Fats comes up behind him and takes it away. Here comes Maryland with the three. Good. Transition three. Cuts that back to a seven-point lead. Xavier comes across the timeline. Miller Cop should have pulled up and passed that ball instead of trying to push it. Gets the ball down to Trace. He's outside. He's not at the block. He's at about the 18-foot mark. Hits Race Thompson across the middle. Misses a little floating jump shot. Good shot. Just didn't go down. Here comes Dante Scott pushing. Dante Scott's got the ball. Looking for Fats. Russell, nothing doing. Hands it off to Fats. Rotates it around to Wahab. Over to Green. Green's going to look inside. Gets it down to Wahab on the block. 
Race goes up even with him. Good defense. Clears away the rebound. Hands it off to Xavier. Xavier pushes over to Cop. Cop's going to pull the trigger. Another three for Miller Cop. Second three in a row. He shot that in rhythm on the on, during transition. And that's all he needs to do is just get in rhythm. Miller Cop extends the lead back to 10 for IU. Finally doing something. Ayala is looking for the three. He steps inside. Nothing doing. There's another three. It's short off the rim. Race controls. Race feeds out to Johnson. Johnson comes across the timeline. Looking ahead. Hits Trace on the block. Trace is going to back Wahab down. And the shot goes Aaron off the backboard. Here comes Dante Scott. Fast break. And there's a layup. And they're going to call Cop for the foul on that. I don't know that he got him. But they're going to give him an opportunity for a three-point play. When the first year that they are eligible, I don't know what, what year that is. I think they have to wait a few years before they are on the ballot, but they're both first year. First free throw, or the three-point play is complete. I got to get this thing reset here. It's not doing it. Why does this scoreboard start out slow? <coughs> Trace has got the ball. Over to Xavier for three. Xavier's rims out. Here comes Maryland with a chance to cut into the seven-point lead. 16.40 to go in the game. Eric Ayala drives, tries to get around Parker Stewart. Nothing doing. There's the switch. They got the mismatch on the block to Wahab. And there is going to be a foul on that mismatch. I think Parker's going to get called. <coughs> Well, I'll tell you what, ESPN will just enact this scoreboard whenever they feel like it, I suppose. That's two team fouls for IU already in the second half, which is not necessarily a good thing. Well, Hobbs got the ball out high, looking to get it. There's a steal by Trace. Good hands. Feeds out to outlet to Xavier, and, and Race Thompson overthrows the pass, and Xavier cannot catch up to it. Yeah. Gives them a chance to decide whether or not they want to come back and play some more. Jonathan, I guess. I knew there was a time frame in there. And Xavier Johnson is trying to take their point guard, Fats Russell, out of the play. And then uh, just to make them use a little bit of time. Brady's done. You probably won't ever see him again. Ayala's trying to back down Galloway. Xavier takes it away. That is not a travel. That's not a travel. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. He tips it. And he, yes, that's not a travel. He was up in the air when he caught the ball. I know it looked like it, but it wasn't. Ayala's got her, got the ball out high, passes around. Russell's got the ball. Russell drives past Xavier, passes it out, misses the three-point shot, controlled by Ray Thompson. Here comes Galloway, gets it back over to Xavier. Seven-point lead, 15-39 to go in the half. Trying to get the ball down on the block. Race takes a 15-footer and buries it. If they're not going to defend Race Thompson, he's going to shoot. Not afraid at all. Here it comes back the other way. Russell's looking. Takes a three-pointer out of rhythm. Not a good shot. Here comes Race. Going to bring the ball up himself. Hands it off to Galloway. Galloway over to Xavier. Xavier's looking up ahead. Uh, everybody's getting kind of slow. Xavier drives all the way to the rim and misses it, but Race Thompson follows it up. Get that up to 11-point lead. Timeout by Maryland. Everybody, look, I'm telling you what. Uh, here's a, They don't have no stamina. They, they would go three or four minutes without, you know, without a stop in the play, and these guys wear completely out. Uh, Cowboys don't need a lot of rebuilding right now, honestly. If you want to rebuild a team, 
Go to Carolina. I would love to see a romp. Oh, let's get over here. Oops, what I just do? Oh, there it is. Switch this around. Um, let's see, why can I not do that? Oh, that's why. Okay. There we go. With 31 votes in the poll today, 68-32 for IU is what it stands at. I'm going to end it right there. Thank you all for participating and hanging out today. Also, 18 likes for the stream today. I appreciate every last one of those. If you haven't hit it yet, please do going forward. Sure does help us out a lot. All right. Hang on a second. Get this switched over here and I'll get back. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, what did I miss? Matt, I appreciate that. Uh, let's get back here. Big Tank TV 56, new to the page. Thank you for the content. Go Hoosiers. Big Tank, well, we appreciate you, my friend. Hey, why don't you drop a little bit of letting us know? who you love and support. If you're a Hoosier fan, that's great. Also, uh, let us know where you're at and what you do. And as Big Tank TV 56, is that a channel? If it is, I'll be sure to check you out. Really got that family vibe around here. We like to know everybody. And Race is what, a junior? Uh, I think Race is a senior. But I think he has another year of eligibility if he wants it due to COVID. See if I've got that right. I, I think that's right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. 45-34, Indiana on a little bit of a run here. Timeout lets some of them guys get a break for Maryland. Let's see if they come back strong. Dante Scott's got the ball out high, passes over to Ayala. Ayala's got nothing going, feeds over the other direction, gets it back over. Reese is in the game, number 10, who's – Lanky looks, he tries to hit Ayala for three, short off the rim, ugly looking shot, no rhythm at all on that, no flow on that offense, and easily controlled. Red shirt senior. I think, I really think that there's another year of eligibility there if he wants it. Hand off to X, X goes to the goal and goes up for the dunk, draws the foul, but we'll get two free throws. Uh. If you're talking about race, he was from Minnesota. Oh no, you're talking about you're talking about Tom Brady. Okay, I I, I sometimes the conversations kind of get back and forth. If if it's available to him, Matt, uh, he has got the ability. He's got the ability to play in the NBA because his outside shot is progressing. Watching the Packers in the offseason try to finagle that. But everything starts with one player being too big of a hit against the salary cap. And that's where all these teams – I know – and I know uh, Patrick Mahomes restructured his contract. You know, I, you know what? If you want to win Super Bowls – you don't have to have $42 million a year, whatever his cap hit's going to be next year. $16 million signing bonus. 
You don't have to have that. I, I think his cap hits more like 26 with the $16 million signing bonus, but he's dead space of like 42 million, something like that. Man, if these guys would just say, hey, let's work together. Let's come up with a salary that works for all of us and let's let's win championships instead of being greedy because they want the most money, Dak Prescott, Aaron Rodgers, then you could have teams that go on runs. Because it's after these rookie contracts that they get paid. I got a great idea. If you got a you got a guy on a rookie contract that you like, extend him now. Extend him before you have to use the franchise tag in a few years. If you feel he's the face of your team, extend him now. They should be re-signing Burrow. They should be getting those guys extended for what they want to pay him and, and lock them down for the long haul. There's baseball players right now that have been retired for 10 or 15 years that are still getting paychecks from their respected teams because of the way they structure contracts. You can back in money, you know, a long time away, far away if you want. By the time, you know, by the time they're done paying Ken Griffey Jr. in Cincinnati, I think he gets something like $5 million a year. By the time they're, by the time they're done that, you know, I mean, there's really no salary cap in baseball, so that doesn't really affect. Wow. They just showed the 2002 National Championship game, and the first thing I saw was Jared Jeffries going up on the tip-off, and I thought it was Trace. There's Dane Five played on the 20, 2002 championship game team. They say Final Four team, but they did play for the championship. Xavier Johnson steps up to the free throw line. Got a chance to knock in a couple free throws here. First one's good. Xavier's looked a lot better. Jared Jeffries was... Jared Jeffries and Trace Jackson Davis are a lot alike. Second one rims out. Trace may be a little bit bigger on the muscle end right now. I think he's bulked up a little. There we go, getting it down inside. Dante Scott's got the ball at the top of the key, trying to get it out. Ayala comes off the pick, looking for the shot, nothing doing. Trey Galloway right there in his face, working the ball around. Drives. They got a mismatch on Russell. Got the big guy on him. He tries to drive. Gets it out into the corner. There is the shot, and it is off the rim. No good. Race Thompson with the good rebound. Atlas to Xavier. Xavier gets up, hits a cop in the corner for three. Oh, just short off the rim. Didn't quite get it down. Good transition shot. Here comes Maryland pushing it back the other way. Fast Russell tries to get inside the lane. Hits Ayala. Goes over to Dante Scott. who's going to try to take the baseline. It's going to get. He's going to dribble it off his own knee out of bounds. Race Thompson was there for help defense, cut him off. AJ Moyer. God, he was like a he was built like a barrel, wasn't he? Like just a little little linebacker. Wasn't super big, but man, he was thick. Here we go. It's working the ball around. Xavier's got the ball at the top of the keys looking. He's gonna hit race for three. And Race Thompson buries another three-pointer. He's gonna fastly become our best three-point shooter because. What does he do? He shoots him in rhythm. 15-point lead as Fats Russell drives the lane, gets a foul on Xavier, and one. You know, Creek, every shot he's taken is in rhythm. And I, I, and I know that that means like – I say that a lot, but that is – you know, if it wasn't a thing, it wouldn't be a thing. Because when you shoot the ball in rhythm, catch, shoot, catch, release, and shoot, you know, with a good pass and in stride – those shots go in so much easier because you're not pushing them or forcing them. You're not under duress. You just you just do it. 12-point lead for IU after the three-point play, 13-04. Now watch. Now I'm going to call something here really fast here Going while we're waiting. Uh, Race has got the ball at the top of the key. He hits Galloway. 
rotates the ball back around to race at the top to cop on the left wing. Race kind of steps down inside the three-point line. Galloway's got it on the left wing. There comes the pick. Hedged out on the defense. Galloway gets to the lane. He's going to draw a foul. So, ah, oh, shoot. So, basically, here's where my problem comes. We're getting close to this 10-minute mark. We've only seen one really one substitute so far in the half. And, and Woodson's going to keep this tight knit between these five guys. And they're going to get wore out. Miller caught for three. Hard off the back iron. He took his a dribble step and shot it. Wasn't a good shot. There goes Fats Russell, goes right by Xavier, gets it back out to Dante Scott for three, short off the rim. Miller Cop controls, hands off to X. X comes across the timeline, 12 16 to go. Here comes Geronimo at the bench. Good time for him to come in. X is going to take the three in rhythm and bury it. Race Thompson with a nice pass. Yes, sir. You've got to have that. I got the bot, but hang on. You just got to wait. I can't do it right now. Here we come back the other way in transition. Xavier's looking, nothing doing, and he does not force it. Passes over to Race. They start the offense. Miller Cop looking, drives the lane. It's going to go up. He's going to get called for travel because he picked up his pivot foot. Yeah. Hey, and don't you yell at me, Miss Monarch. I am not. On that account in YouTube. Hold on. This is where I get this is where I get fearful. We're in control of a basketball game. And uh, what happens is we wear out. Hang on. You were slow then, because the one that was in here, I got. What happens is, is that he doesn't like going to his bench in the second half, and they get they get very few minutes in the second half, and Trace and Race get tired. They pick up cheap fouls. Then you've only got one point guard today. He's going to get tired. They need to start rotating people in, giving everybody a good long breather before that stretch of basketball the last seven minutes. Geronimo has played excellent when he was in the game today. Hasn't made his, you know, his normal memory lapse boo-boos. So he's played well. Galloway's been in for a while. Parker Stewart's getting a good rest. Who knows if he'll come back or not. Sunshine coming off my green screen. Yeah, but Randall, this is the point in the game when they usually start slouching it up. They get through the first 10 minutes of the second half, and then it just kind of have too many computers. I got a lot going on, Mary, for sure. Yeah, you know, I and I don't think there's nothing wrong with making a fifth-year senior like Miller Cop sit down for a little while. Give him some perspective. You know, you're not as good as you think you are. You know, you've got to come out of here and perform first and foremost on defense and then and then take good shots on offense. You know, granted, Maryland is a very sketchy team. They are very hot or cold. So, you know, you've got to – I know I'm never right. They're they're either you know they've just they're inconsistent, like kind of like we are, honestly. Preview for the Sunday at NFC Championship. Boy, if I can't get well, see, the Super Bowl is going to be very tough for me if the Bengals aren't in it for sure. Branson, Missouri. Branson, Missouri. Missouri is a great place to metal detect, too. 
Lots of courthouses that are full of stuff. I see I see videos on them all the time. That's probably that's a decent little drive for you, isn't it? Got the Rams tomorrow. Rams are three and a half point favorites. All right, here we go. Dante Scott hands the ball off to Fats Russell. Indiana's up 15, by the way, 52-37, 11-27 to go. Let's see how they finish. Let's see how they play the rest of this game. Geronimo's out on Dante Scott. He's going to get called for the hand check because he's playing tight. What, good or – you can talk bad about Brady anytime. You can talk good about him too, though. She just hates him. And they get the ball to Scott in the corner. He's looking to drive on Geronimo, but he passes the ball out to Russell. Russell rotates it around. Looking, probing, nothing doing. Russell's got the ball again. He drives around. And now they're going to hit Galloway. Uh, sure, I approve of that call. That was really handsy. All right, here we go. Russell gets it over to Dante Scott, traces out on him. Ayala drives around, trying to get around Galloway, throws it over. Nothing doing. Rotates back out to fast Russell. He drives the lane, goes all the way up against Geronimo. He misses. Geronimo puts up his hands. Good defense. Gets the rebound. Here comes Tamar Bates and Galloway. They're going to reset the offense out high. They're going to feed the post to Geronimo. Geronimo drives the baseline, puts up the little soft hook. Oh, he just misses it. And there's going to be a foul on Dante Scott as Trace Jackson gets the rebound as he's getting pushed out of bounds. All right, there's the inbound pass. Tamar Bates has got the ball out wide. And they're going to call Trace Jackson Davis with an illegal pick. All right, here we come. That is a cheap. They gave the foul to Galloway there, by the way. 54 37, 10 20 to go. I can see a little bit of shift in momentum right now as they're calling a lot of cheap fouls really fast. Race Thompson is back in the game and Trace gets to take a seat. Scott drives the lane. There's the foul on Tamar Bates on Scott as he was getting pushed around a little bit. It is four o'clock. Four o'clock on Saturday, and it's cold. Scott hits the first free throw. Second one is in. Here comes Maryland. They're down 15, 54 to 39. And now the officials are just blowing the – yeah, Rick and Morty, Josh, for sure, bro. Like me some Rick and Morty. The level of Rick's sarcasm is the best in the world. I love all of them. Yeah, they do. They don't have. They do. They do not have the stamina. As it, it, in long stretches where the clock doesn't stop, they look even worse. Savior comes across the timeline, hands it off. Savior's got the ball on the left wing. Drives. He's probing inside, looking. Shoots the little floater. Bad shot. 
kind of threw it up there. Here comes Maryland. Dante Scott's pushing over on the wing. Nothing doing. Getting backed inside. The shot goes up. No good. Geronimo controls the rebound. We are still controlling the boards. We're still playing good defense under the basket. Over on the wing. Nothing happening there. Getting some all-important rest. Geronimo takes a 15-footer. No good. He didn't hit that one. Quick shot. Here comes Russell. The ball is tipped out of bounds by Xavier. And they're saying they didn't touch it. And the dog is getting restless. 9.16 to go. They get the inbound pass to Dante Scott. He's looking around. Ayala comes off the screen looking for three. Short. Xavier controls the rebound and chooses to slow it up a little bit. Gets the ball across the timeline to Geronimo. Geronimo to Galloway. Galloway is going to set it up high. Xavier is over on the left wing. 18 to go on the shot clock. 54-39. Galloway drives all the way to the basket and dunks it home. Oh, runs right by Ayala. Here comes Russell looking at Ayala. There's a three-pointer from the side and buried. Both teams look tired. And there on the inbound pass, Dante Scott comes up and knocks it out of bounds. Lazy inbound pass. Both teams look tired. And Christian Lander comes in to take control of the ball. He comes across the pick, gets across half court. They got an advantage, five on four. Tamar Bates for three, and that's off. Tamar's shot is a good shot. Race controls the rebound, puts it up, and it, no good. Tip, tip. And that's going to be Indiana's ball out of bounds as number 23 for Maryland knocked it out. Christian Lander's getting some big-time minutes right here. Ah, uh, the dog knows something. It's probably that his bladder's full. There's Tamar Bates off the inbound pass. Throws up the shot. No good. And there is going to be a... Looks like Geronimo's going to get called for the foul on the rebound. And that is going to put Maryland at the free throw line. Down 14 with 8.15 to go. And they're, they've only got 14 fouls. At least you get to watch your ball game tomorrow night, John. I got you back tomorrow night. I'm rooting for them Rams myself. There's the free throw. It is good on the one and one. Hakeem Hart has really played, been the best player on the team in the second half for Maryland. You're going to have to wait till mommy gets home. Couple hours ago, Pookie. Bye bye. <laughs> Second free throw is up, and it is good. Maryland converts on the one and one. Three points. There comes the press. They're going to press because Christian Lander's in the game, and Christian Lander gets the ball across the timeline, does his job. Baby steps. Trace Jackson Davis, there's a pick. Ball, ball rotates around. Galloway's kind of running the point right now. Trace has got it out high, hands it off to Lander. Christian Lander drives around looking to get to the basket. And they're going to call him for a travel. Pivot foot slid when he, when he did his jump stop. Maryland only down 12 with eight minutes to go. This is far from over. Yeah, you told me that, Pookie. I'll check it out as soon as I get an opportunity, bro. This is an away game. And they're, they're slowly letting them back in right now. <laughs> That's true, bro. 
I, I'm just saying, you know, that's what I was saying about the 12 minute mark. I said, this is where we start to get tired because our substitutes aren't getting to play. Now Woodson's got them in the game right now and they're, they've made up, you know, four or five points. I'm pretty sure the dog heard his mother pull up. And yes, he did, because I hear. But yeah, that's it. These last 12 minutes of these games, we haven't been finishing well. And you know, in this Big Ten season, all these teams are talented. I, I think it's tired. I, I think that we, I, Trace is on the bench. So when Trace comes back in, which he should come back in here about the seven minute mark, seven or six minute mark and be in for the rest of the game. Race got a little bit of a rest there, and now he's already back in. I think Xavier's on the bench right now. He should probably come back in after this timeout. And then after that, you go with Geronimo and Galloway for a while, unless you need, and then maybe the last three or four minutes, bring Cop or Parker Stewart back in if you if you need them, because they're very good free throw shooters as well. But you know, you just you just see something changes every game around this point, and we have to just hang on to win. Especially, especially on the road. You know that that you know Nebraska. Our only road win wasn't that great a win. It it is a Big Ten win on the road, and it and it counts. But you know, it's just not it's just not the road win that we're looking for for our resume. Had to have that one. Really need this one today. If this, if the wheels fall off of this game, this this meltdown will be very costly for the rest of the Big Ten season. Mark my words. Can't afford to do it. Okay. John jamming out, man. 70s and 80s. Pick your poison. Yeah, look at, and you know, just for all you Indiana fans that are in here today, look at Providence. Uh, Al Durham playing very, very good basketball for them. I, I, I really was wondering if he would wonder why he chose to transfer. I wish I understood that one. But he would, you know, he's a really, a guy that we could really use on the roster this year. Land. <coughs> Yeah, we're still at the eight-minute marks. So I think they're only going to be out here for another minute or two. Let's see how if we can hold on to this double-digit lead. I think 17, Chris. 56 to 39, I think, was the biggest lead. Haven't scored since. They're on a 5-0 run. Trace is back in the game. They're going to look around trying to get some dribble penetration. Bates is still there. Trying to get around Geronimo. Fats Russell throws it into the corner. Ball fake. Shot goes up and short off the iron. Here comes Galloway. Galloway's got the ball. He's going to get fouled by Russell. Race Thompson's got 16 in today's game. The, the addition of the three-point shot for Race really, really changes the way teams have to defend us. And uh, that is so important to have somebody consistently knocking down that three. I use net right now is 36, which is pretty solid. Here we go. Lander's got the ball. Fats Russell's going to try to get him, but he doesn't get him off the pickoff. They, he, he's not moving his feet. But they're, they are tired. Trace goes right in inside for the dunk, right over Dante Scott. No competition, 58-44. Trace has got some legs right now. Let's see if we can continue on this. Play defense. That's what wins the game right here. Dante Scott's out high, hands it off to Ayala, who's looking for the three, nothing doing. And now they're going to finally get them with the illegal pick there. Looks like, well, they're going to show the other play. They're not going to show the foul. Yeah, you know what? They're, they're, they're playing better. They just got to learn how to finish. I think Woodson might have learned some of his lesson about substitution because he did get his starters out for a good while there. But it's where it comes down the stretch. Trace got a, a break. Uh, let's see if the other guys, you know, they've still got Lander, Geronimo, and Bates on the floor right now. And Galloway. Race is getting a much-needed break right now. 
There's going to be a push on Reese there as Trace just outmans him. Trace is big. Uh, Mike Woodson hasn't earned God status as far as it being a coach goes yet, but you know he he's definitely he's definitely coaching like Nightwood. And Ray or Trace Jackson makes the free throw. Is I think that's the first one of a one and one there since it was before the foul. Gets the lead back up to 15, which is important. Uh, the way I think they're going to finish, Matt, I think we're going to be somewhere between, uh, I think we'll be a, either a six or a seven. And that's if things just kind of hold true. And there is a Geronimo with a great defensive rebound on the outlet. Going to bring it up the floor. Hits Trace. That's a charge. Trace lowers his shoulder, and, and Fats Russell gets his feet into position and draws a charge. Trace did not have to do that. Canadians are just better people. Whatever you say, buddy. They're going to run the weave out high with Ayala, Russell, and Russell goes around Lander, and he loses it out of bounds. I don't know. Looks like he looks like he beat Lander, and Lander just kind of kind of pushed into him a little bit. But they're going to give us the call, and who am I to argue with the referee? It, I think they're going to finish better than what we anticipate. Or at least what they're projected to. Gets the ball to Trace on the block. Trace goes up for the layup and rolls in for him. Gets it up to 61 to 44. What a defensive performance today. There goes Dante Scott trying to push around Geronimo, trying to force himself in. The ball goes out of bounds back to Indiana. Now they're just trying to put their head down and go, and they're turning the ball over. This game is going to get way out of hand here in a second, and it's going to turn into a big blow, a bigger blowout yet. Danny Manning knows that his guys are out of sorts and calls timeout. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I, I can't remember winning on this court, and I didn't think, you know, going into today, I thought today was going to be a very tall task for us. Yeah, you know, Maryland, you know, Maryland just runs out of gas. I don't think they have enough depth on the bench. Uh, let me look at this, the stat sheet here, but they do not seem like they have enough guys. Uh, I got another tab open here. I'm with you, Creek. There it is. Let's see. Yeah, Maryland is only going eight deep off the bench. And their bench has gave them no production today. Hart has played well for Maryland, and we have shut down their two leading, their three leading scorers overall. And there was a nice Rob, seeing Rob on the bench with a smile on his face is good. Here comes Lander across the timeline. I believe Woodson's going to leave these guys in until they need to come out. Hits Geronimo in the middle. Geronimo hits. Uh, Oh, Trace misses a layup. Missed the bunny. Here comes the other way. Russell's going to draw the foul off of Lander. Lander's not going to let him take it to the basket and score. I think Christian Lander, Lander's learning this year that he's not as good as he thought he was. Yep. I couldn't remember it, Chris. You see Fennessy there in a boot. But it's nice to see him smiling and on the bench. First free throw is in. Second free throw is also good. 61-46, 520 to go. We've got to finish strong here. Let's keep them under under 55 points or something. Looks really good for the and yes, run some shot clock. Work on your passing game a little bit. Yep, 
Gets it off to Tamar Bates on the wing. Gets it into Geronimo in the middle. Over to Lander. Lander's going to drive. Goes up for the layup and scores it. Christian Lander with a good acceleration move to the glass. Gets a layup. That's his quickness. That's where he's got it. Lander gets in the scoring column. That's got to feel pretty good. And he's going to pick up another foul right after and send Russell back to the line. That's probably going to be his fourth foul, if I had to guess here. That will be his fourth foul. He's going to go right back to the bench. And Wood, oh, he's not going to. Woodson's giving him a talk. First free throw is in. Yeah, Chris, uh, second free throw is also good. Durr is not playing due to a coach's decision. And when Woodson said that in that press conference, he said it very sternly and coyly, like he's done something to make him mad. So it is. You you just gotta you gotta move your feet and play defense. Can't give him free points. 15 point lead. Lander's gonna take the three, and it's money. There was a good shot in rhythm. It's not that Lander doesn't have skills. He's just he's got to toughen up. But you know, yeah, no doubt. But it's they got to. They've got to play this bench a little bit more. Scott drives the lane, goes up for the layup, no good. Wahab gets the ball, gets stuffed by Geronimo, goes out of bounds. It will stay with Wisconsin or with Maryland. Sixty-six to forty-eight, eighteen point lead, four oh six to go. <coughs> There's, oh, something's wrong with Russell. That's not good. It's his, it's his left wrist. He does. You know, I mean, I know he came in a year early. His body is technically a freshman's body this year. Uh, you know, I blame that on Archie Miller. Uh, trying to get him in a year early to save, you know, maybe to try to save his job. Maybe he knew. Maybe he's thinking getting that five-star a little early. I don't know. He wasn't ready for college when he came in. He's definitely going to need the gym this summer. He's definitely going to need to to bulk up a little bit. But uh, he definitely has the ability to be good. I just think it's a strength thing with uh, Christian. Here goes uh, Ayala for three, rims out, controlled by Geronimo. Geronimo being in the game, rebounding the ball in the last six minutes of this game has been absolutely huge. Geronimo is playing, you know, definitely some inspired minutes. And the longer you leave him in, the better he does. Bates for three from the other corner, airballs it, and then he's going to take off the other way, and then the ball gets picked up loose. There goes Wahab down there. And there's going to be a foul on Geronimo probably because they let the outlet pass go. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, he could have had his own rebound. All he had to do was go towards the basket. They are. They're better than what I thought. But here's what they're doing. They're doing it with a different rotation of guys in the game. But, yeah, fundamentally, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that that's the problem is that, you know, guys get a little tired and they stop doing the things. You know, he, he acts like he's in the game, but he ain't hungry. 
I always preferred Prince over Michael Jackson because of how, of how awesome watching Prince play guitar. Prince reminded me of Hendrix in his prime. I can, I can get on board with that. Michael Jackson was a pretty much a musical genius, but Prince played guitar, which made him way cooler. Only got four minutes to go. 334 left in the game. Yeah, Randall, it's it's much better, but but I, you know, Maryland hasn't really put up a whole lot of a fight today. Get some Janice Joplin going in the house. But you know what? They need to learn how to win games and close out games on the road. Uh, I got a lot of I got a lot of uh, you know, I'll probably do a review from this one just because there's a lot of things that I'm pretty happy with today. Jalen Smith. Man, you want to talk about a skinny big guy. I wonder how his outside shot is at, there at Phoenix. Alex, you know, Alex is a music fan. She loves just about everything. She gets on kicks. Now, Janis Joplin's not one that I've ever heard her mention, but you ought to see her iPod. iTunes, whatever you want to call it. Can't beat anything, only scoring 48 points. Agreed. But our defense has a lot to do with that, too. It's quad two. Maryland is a quad two team, Dabney. We don't get credit for a quad one today, but we do get credit for a quad two. We are two and two in quad one games. Yep, let's finish. Let's play it tight. You know what? I just don't want to see them give up any more points. We should push definitely over 70. I don't want to see them hit 50. Yes, Miss Amethyst, we qualified as of yesterday. We got was approved for monetization, and those are available. Had a stream last night, and some people really showed us love, and Alex and I was completely blown away. I appreciate that, Shawnee. Being here is all I really, that makes me happy, but I appreciate that. Wahab shoots the free throw, and it is good. Maryland is good from the line. They don't give give you back many opportunities for the day. They are 14. Maryland has not missed a free throw today. Just hoping I can jinx them. There we go. 66-50, 332 to go. Lander's still in the game. Xavier getting a nice long break. There's Anthony Leal. Finally going to bring some other bodies into the game. What are you going to do there? You gonna not call that a foul? Trying to, they're just trying to maul Lander. There he goes around. He's gonna to get to the basket, throws it over to Leal for three. It should be oh, nice pass by Christian to get it to Leal. Very good play. Leal just could not convert. Just came in the game. They get the ball down on the block against Geronimo. Wahab puts it up and in. 66-52. That's a little bit of a size mismatch for. Geronimo, but he has defended him fairly well today. 2.49 to go. Let's use a little bit of clock here. Here comes Logan Duncan off the bench. He's going to replace Trace. You know, Woodson is going to get these guys out. Geronimo shoots a 12-footer. It's short. Lander follows the shot. Can't get the rebound. Here comes Maryland the other way. Ball gets down on the left wing. Scott's got it. 2.26 to go. Scott's driving in. Nothing going. There's looking for the shot. Nothing doing. Gets it down to Wahab on the block. Trace goes up with him, and he buries another shot over Trace Jackson. It's now a 12-point game with 2.14 to go. And I'm okay with this lead squandering a little bit. Let type play call timeout, Woodson. Coach these kids. Get, get uh, Trace out of the game and let them finish this thing out. Indiana's got some got some meat coming up. They got they got Illinois on February fifth at home. That is next Saturday. I should be here for that. Let me look. 
depending on what time it is, we've got a we've got a live stream that night at Q and A. Uh, then they will be at Northwestern on the eighth. I should be here for that. And then the twelfth at Michigan State. I should be able to be here for that. Let's keep going. February 15th against Wisconsin. I'll be here for that, and I missed the next one. So looks like I'm going to be here for quite a few of the upcoming games. So hopefully we get playing some. Yes. You know, it, it looks like he – he he gets up. He he extends very high on his release point, like he really wants to shoot the you know from the highest point of his jump. He his jump shot looks different. But yeah, they're gonna leave Trace in on the floor. Race Thompson's got a double double today, sixteen and eleven. Xavier Johnson's got nine assists in today's game. You want to talk about where we've done better? And you know what? And he hasn't made shots, but he doesn't have to. He just has to facilitate as a point guard. Any points are extra. Xavier's going to let the clock run down. Lander gets to go to the bench. They're going to finish this out with their starters or some of them. Oh, and he falls down. Xavier falls down. Here comes Maryland. 148 to go, looking for the three, gets it down in on the block. Well, Hobbs got it where he's been hot, trying to push Trace out of the way. And there is uh, Race Thompson with another rebound, number 12 for the game. Oh, JB, don't you know that I know that that's only, we only got nine team turnovers today. 127 to go, 12 point lead. They get the ball across court to Leal. Leal's back to Xavier, trying to burn the shot clock down. Xavier gets it over to Leal again. 10 on the shot clock. There's the double team. Hits Trace. Trace feeds Race. Race is under the basket. Puts it up and misses. And he's going to get fouled and he's going to get a chance at the free throw line. Here comes Logan Duncan with 110 to go. He's going to replace Trace Jackson Davis. And we're going to see Logan for a few minutes. Rob didn't play well in the time that he got. Uh, he probably got eight or ten minutes in that game. He didn't play well at all at that point. He hadn't played well at all. <clears throat> Going to see a little bit of next year with Logan Duncan coming in here. Big kid with a nice shot. And I'm okay with the score tightening back up a little bit. Race short short arms the second free throw. 13 point lead with a minute to go. Christian Lander is defending against the point guard. Here they come the other way. Lander is trying to play D. Let's see if we can get it around. Leal is out on. There is a long three-pointer basically off the front iron. Logan Duncan clears the rebound to Lander. 50 seconds to go. Outlets to Leal. Leal is not going to go up for the layup. He's going to pull it back out. Race Thompson is going to hold the ball out high. 19 seconds on the shot clock. They're going to hand the ball off to Lander. Lander back to Thompson. Thompson's going to push it down a little close because they're double teaming. 33 seconds to go, 10 on the shot clock. Race drives the basket. It's going to draw the foul, and he's going to get two free throws as this will be the last uh, shot. The shot clock will be turned off from here on out. 67-54. We did give up some slop time points here, but it's really good for our bench to get minutes. I got to say, Creek, absolutely agree with that. It's a very big time win. First free throw is good for race. 68-54. Second one's up, and it's hard off the back iron. Leal tries to tip it, can't do it. There's going to be a foul called here on the rebound. Race Thompson gets to come out. Race Thompson playing big-time basketball. 
Oh my God. Illinois at home is huge. There we go. And then Maryland can't misses their first free throw of the game. Imagine that 28 seconds left and you miss your first free throw of the game. We did finally hit the double digit turnovers, which is sad. Second free throw is good. And here comes Lander across the timeline, 23 seconds to go. Content to run the clock out. I don't know. Nah, I got to look at something here. And that's the ball game, folks. I got to say, uh, I'm pretty proud of the way they played this afternoon. We had a couple stretches where we didn't do well, started the game horribly. Yeah. Exactly. He's scrappy. He's energetic. Um, there's a lot of things that uh, about him that are really good. You know, and it's it, – what does this uh, – what does a quad victory mean? This is a quad two victory, so it's not – it's not big time for the committee. Uh, so it, it's it's not huge, but any road game weighs heavy when you win on the road and during your conference. So it's a very helpful. It's a game they're supposed to win. I don't know that it increases our, our NCAA chances a lot, but if we'd have lost, our, our chances decrease quite a bit. Yeah, dude, absolutely, Alex, and thank you for stopping by. And I'm going to check into what you texted me a little bit ago because I don't understand that. But uh, I will look at that here in a little bit. Hey, I'm probably going to record a uh, a recap video again for this one today. I got a lot of thoughts that I'd like to get into, but Race Thompson was huge. The, the quads basically uh, – it's basically if you're a top 50 uh, RPI team, maybe. Maybe that's the, the, the dynamic they use. I'm not sure which dynamic the quads are focused into. If you win, if you beat a team in the top 50, then it's quad one. Sauntering into silence. I'll write that down. And uh, I do. Anybody that has a, cha a channel in here that wants to, well, you know, I, by all means, hit me up with it. I'll definitely go look because I love it. And uh, thank you. Just hit 1,000 subscribers yourself. Congratulations, JB. I, that's awesome, brother. Uh, squantering into silence. Sauntering, I'm sorry. Sauntering into silence. Just hit 1K subscribers. That's awesome, brother. I wish you'd have brought it up sooner. Heck yeah, screenshot it. But everybody, appreciate you all very much. I'm going to close this thing down. Look for a recap video either tonight or tomorrow sometime. Tomorrow is going to be hard for me to put it out, so I better do it today. And then I will, at the same time, I'll, I'll put a quick preview in for the Illinois game. Purdue, Purdue and Ohio State are our quad one wins. Yes, sir, Chris, I, that is correct. Squandering might be a good channel name, too. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, Jake, thank you, my brother. I appreciate you. Who day? Uh, go Big Red, for sure. Uh, I'm going to – I'll probably sit down and record a little bit here a bit on my own and uh, do a recap, and then I'll preview the game against Illinois. Maybe I might save it for a day to – re to maybe Monday, but I definitely will get it out. Guys, look forward to that. I appreciate you all for hanging out today. going to leave you with – a couple of uh, little quick video clips here. We'll start it out. Much love to the audience today. Thank you. Please hit the like button on your way out. Drop a comment.